Yo. Okay, so welcome to part six of this series, and um, we'll just jump right into it. So um, for this video, I want to get the ears done, um, but we'll see how if we get to finish complete the entire ear. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna turn on the right ear, and I'm gonna make sure that I'm on frame one because the rest of the the body began on frame one. It started animating from frame one. And I'm going to go to the ear bone, which is somewhere here, ears, all right? Uh, so I want to do some movement. So that's why I'm going to the bone and I'm gonna click on the move control point, which is the green one here. And I'm just going to, just to add a keyframe again, you can use your, your arrow keys. So I may choose, click up, press up on my arrow key, um, on the arrow keys on my keyboard to add a keyframe. I'm going to press the down key just to put it back into position. And uh, let me just scrub through my timeline to see the movement of the face because we're going to be following that movement. So let's say when the face gets to here, the ear would come somewhere here, All right? All right, so let's scrub back and see. All right, so we want to get the ear above the head here, okay? And we already know from previous tutorials that we'll have to click on the ear layer itself. Uh, so I'm gonna see where I want it to come up above the body. I think I'm gonna have it come um, above the head on frame two. So I'm gonna go to the previous frame, which is frame one, and I'm going to click on the, the ear layer and I'm gonna to go to the Z depth. I'm gonna just change the value just so we can have a keyframe and I'm gonna change it back to zero. And then I'm gonna come down one frame, right, which is frame two. And I'm gonna put that at, uh, let me just test this out, maybe negative 10. Okay, but I believe that's too high. So negative five negative four i mean you can work with negative 10 but, but i want to make it exactly like one layer above if that makes sense so minus two minus one okay so minus two so immediately it goes above um and then can scrub through the time the timeline to see how that movement goes okay uh, I think the ear is probably too close. So let me go back to the ear bone. And uh, I'm just gonna click on this and move it over a bit, All right? So when it gets to here, it's there. And then let me um, actually click on the body to see where the head um, disappeared from here. And that is on frame. I guess 24 or 25. So I'm gonna to go to frame 24 and then I'm going to go to my ear bone and I'm gonna move this over to the right here. All right, don't worry about it, how it looks now. We'll change that in a few. Okay, so, uh, and remember this is within a switch. So we have, um, I believe we have two different ear drawings, this and another one. So when it gets to, I'll say when it gets to maybe here or hmm, let me go all the way back. So I think when it gets to frame four, right? I'll make that change to, I'll switch out to the, the next drawing. So I'm gonna go to frame three. And for that, um, to change the drawing, we will we'll have to be on the ear itself. So I'm gonna go to that and scroll down to the position. I'm just gonna change this to add the keyframe and then change it back to its default. And I'm gonna come one frame down, all right, and then change this to one. All right, so we see that changes. So now that looks a little bit better, all right? And then when it comes to, hmm, when it comes to maybe let me see, maybe here or frame 14, I'm gonna have it 
uh, switch directions, right? So I'm gonna have it flip. And uh, so I'm gonna go to the previous frame, which is frame 13. And so to do that flip, we'll have to mess with its scale. So let's go ahead and look for uh, the scale value of the, the air layer. And that is hidden within the transformation um, part here. So I'm just gonna open this up now. Okay, so um, once you go inside of transformation, you will see the base value, right? And, and within the base value, look for scale. So um, what we want to do is focus on the first part of the scale, right? Which um, scales on the X axis. So if you want to flip this, just change the first one to a minus, just minus that value. So here we have 60. So if I should type the minus sign in front of it and press enter and then press enter again we see that this is flipped so what i'm going to do is go to my previous frame here right and make sure that it's flipped back to its original direction so that i'll have that um so that when we move to this keyframe we see the the change in movement here okay so that um i'll just go ahead and do that real quick Okay, so now that we have that flipped, um, what we want to do is go down to where the face disappears to, let's go to uh, here. I actually want to speed up the movement of the ears here. So let me go down to where it ends. I'm just gonna move it over a bit. Okay, so um, once it's, it's it's at the edge, we want to change the um, the drawing from this one to the original one. So I'm just gonna go back to one frame before, or yeah, one frame before. I'm gonna go to the ear layer, and let's go down to the position, and I'm gonna change this to zero, and change it back to one and then move one frame forward and change this to zero, okay? And then with that now done, I'm gonna go back to the ear bone and I'm gonna move this over to the edge, like so, okay? So if we should go back, That is looking really, really awesome now. Okay. Uh, and of course, I'm gonna have to work out, I'm gonna have to work out the, the section where it goes behind the head and then rotates around. But you, I think by now you get the idea. Okay. So I might do that part um, and then just move on to the next section but um see if you can do the the next ear um for your character without me showing you how to do that because i don't want to make this video too too long um but yeah so with this you should be able to uh do that this same same movement with your character all right so i'm gonna get this done and then i will see you in the next video Yo, them are they?